Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Malcolm, and I'm back for another video. Yo, so today, I really just want to kind of talk a little bit about Momocon. So for y'all who don't know, uh, I spent last weekend in Atlanta at Momocon, which is an anime convention. Uh, they got a bunch of cool stuff. It, it was a really, really really awesome experience and i kind of just want to talk about it i know this video probably isn't going to get like a ton of views or nothing like that this is really just for the people who have been like rocking with me watching my stuff and are really like part of the family because momocon was honestly like it was like some life-changing shit damn near bro like i've been making content for a really long time for those who know me know i've been making content since 2019 February 2019 is when uh, I started my podcast, right? And that's when I really got in the content game. And since then, I've been grinding really hard, trying to make all the improvements I can make to really be the content creator that I want to be, to really be able to make the money that I want to be able to make off of this and just be happy in my content creation journey, you know? And because I've been making content creation for so long and for so long... I didn't have like quote unquote success, like, like, how do I say it? Like statistical success, right? Cause in my mind, it's always been successful because I've always been having fun. Uh, well, for the most part, I've always been having fun. You know, when it comes down to making TikToks or the podcast or whatever, like I always enjoy the hell out of it, but like the success wasn't all the way there. And like, in my mind, I'm still kind of an underdog in the content creation game. You know, like that's how I feel. Like, I feel like I'm an underdog. I know I'm coming up. I know the numbers of the podcast are getting better. I know the numbers of my TikTok are getting better. My Instagram, every, all the numbers are getting better. But like, in my mind, like I'm still like the underdog in the content creation game. And I feel like Momocon was such like, a life-changing and eye-opening experience because it kind of gave me perspective on how other people view me and my content. I don't really pop out much. I don't really be in public and around. Like I normally just create my content at the crib or at the studio. I hang out with my girl, my family, the guys, like that's it, you know? But being at Momocon, like I was around a lot of people, around a lot of content creators, around a lot of uh, view, like podcast viewers, a lot of TikTok viewers. I was around all those people. And like, it was cool as shit to see like how much my shit really means to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, it, it's one thing. And I do get it. It's one thing when you see the DMs or the comments and stuff like that. You know, that is, that's one thing and you feel that and you get that. But when you're really like face to face with somebody and they're literally excited to see you because of how much they enjoy your content, like that shit is, bro, that shit is crazy. Like that was like, I don't even know how to explain it. That was such a different type of experience that like, I got a little bit of at DreamCon in 2022, but Momocon was just like, it was just some completely new shit. And it really filled me with like a new type of energy. There were content creators that, who me, myself, I look up to, you know, like I model my content off of them. Uh, when it comes when I'm making something new, right? I'll look to their content and be like, okay, like, let's look at how they edited this. Okay. This is where they make their cuts. Um, they, these are the type of elements they use. They do this, they do this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, just so you can learn. Like, these are content creators that I genuinely look up to and just watch their content for enjoyment. Like, I'll literally just be watching this shit. I'll be in their Twitch streams or their TikToks or wherever, and I'll just be like, damn, like, I'm really fucking with this shit. And, like, those people are coming up to me, and I was like, yo, like, I really fuck with your stuff. And they were like, no, like, I fuck with your stuff. Like, I'd, I'd say, I'd be like, yo, like, I'm trying to get like you. And they're like, no, dog. I am trying to get like you. And that shit is crazy. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that shit is crazy that there's actually, like, content creators in the game that are, like, established and shit are probably making more money than me. But they actually are, like, fucking with, like, the community that we've built. Because that's something that, like, we have that not everybody has on that same level, right? So, while my numbers are 
lower than some people's, you know, and don't get me wrong. My numbers are fucking lit for like a person my size. But while the numbers are lower than some of like the bigger creators, it's the community that's unstoppable, right? Like the fact that y'all really just rock with the content, y'all truly see the vision, you enjoy like that is something that people don't have because this is organic. You know, the, the way that we've come up hasn't been from like a billion viral videos, you know what I'm saying? Like 5 million, 10 million, blah, blah, blah. I got my first post with a million views this year in 2023. That like all the other TikTokers I knew that were bigger, smaller, everything had videos with a million views. I just got my first one this year. And it's like, yo, we're really in this bitch. Like, because we've built it up slowly. Like, we really set the foundation. Like, the people who rock with the podcast really rock with the podcast. And I rock with y'all. People who rock with the TikTok and the YouTube rock with it. And we rock with y'all. And it's just like, damn, bro. Like, I can feel that we're right on the cusp. Like, we're right on the precipice of something super, super great. And it just makes me want to go so much harder in the content creation game. Like, it just really makes me want to turn up and really change some shit, bro. Like, bro, we're literally right there. Like, it's so, I don't know, man. Like, it's so cool. It's so exciting. Momocon was just a different type of experience, bro. And also, shout out to all of you guys that are watching this video after meeting me at Momocon. Great seeing you guys, uh, shot content with a lot of you guys, had conversation with a lot of you guys. For the ones who I didn't like stop and have conversations with, it was cause I was just a little bit busy. Um, as many of y'all know, I work with the D Spirits brand. Uh, shout out to D Spirits. Y'all know I work with the D Spirits brand. So I was at their booth, uh, teaching people how to play D Spirits, which was super fucking fun. Y'all should learn how to play. But yeah, it was just, man, that shit was just so cool. That shit was so cool. And another thing I learned from Momokan and, I don't know how many of y'all give a fuck about this, but I, I learned I had to get out my shell a little bit more. Like, y'all see me, and y'all see, like, how energetic and talkative I am, and I am like that, but when it comes to just, like, being around people and just, like, doing shit like that, I don't fuck with that. So, like, I got invited to, like, a content creator house, like, after party, you know, like, an invite-only after party type of thing, um... And I didn't pop out because I was like, ah, I'm not really trying to be around people for real. But, yo, there were some big-ass creators there that I could have met and I didn't go and I fumbled. And then a lot of y'all know about the Trap Sushi after party. I should have went to that. I ain't slide to that. But at DreamCon, I'm popping out. I'm doing more shit. And I'm just going to really body the content creation, bro. Like, I just want to body it, bro, because there's just so many people that rock with the content, that rock with me, and, like, I really want to make y'all proud. Like, I want to make y'all viewers proud. Man, bro, like, damn, we're just, we're killing it, bro. Like, I'm just so happy. Uh, I'm very content with where we are, but I still just really want more. And, uh, man, it, it's all because of you guys. Like, I just really, the main goal of this video is just to say thank you to you guys for no matter how long you've been here, whether you've been here for four years or you've been here for two days, just thank you for being a part of the content, like, you know, my content creation family, um, and just rocking with the content, rocking with me, believing in me and seeing where the shit goes. Cause we're really trying to take this shit to the moon. So thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. And I cannot wait to bring y'all some more videos. Hey, I shot some interviews at Momocon. Those are going to be dropping. I'll probably put those out tomorrow. I'll put this video out today, and I'll drop those tomorrow. So, it's lit, man. Trust me. Way more content coming. I got a lot of dope stuff coming this week, so be prepared for it. But, yo, thank y'all so much. I love y'all. If you are not already subscribed, I feel like everybody who watched this far in this video is probably a subscriber. But if you're not, uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We just reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh... We got to get up there. We got to get them numbers up there. I want that YouTube plaque, bro. I want to put that shit. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I want to get that 100,000 plaque. So let's get to it. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Like, I literally cannot say thank y'all enough. Love y'all. I'm out. Peace.